Chief Meteorologist John Ziegler. We're gearing up for that winter storm. Now that can mean all kinds of things. We're talking about a major snowstorm in central Wisconsin. A mix here and then maybe an ice storm as you get down to Chicago. So we're in the middle of this thing. So I don't know which way we want this to shift or if you just want it to come. If we want the lowest impacts, we want nothing to change. Because right now it looks like the impacts will be, yeah, not great, but it won't be extreme, which I don't use that word a lot. But the, yeah, I think there's an extreme impact going on from Minneapolis, probably all the way to Eau Claire and even stretching through Rhinelander. They're going to get hammered with snow. 42 inches, <laughs> oh, maybe 42 degrees outside southwest winds at nine. So we're starting to see the winds pick up. You've got a clipper coming overhead. The clipper's up in Stevens Point. It drives up temperatures. You get a warm day today and then it will cool us down tomorrow. So actually Tuesday is a cooler day, probably a below average day, which we haven't seen a lot of those. A little bit of mixed precip just coming on by with that clipper, but really no impacts with that one. It is going to we're going to see the temperatures drop behind this here. And then we're looking at our low. Now we are in the early stages of this low developing. Things can change and they probably will change, but it is such a large swath of snow that I mean, forecasts for Minneapolis and Eau Claire and Wausau, that is easy. They just literally have to go on air and be like, we're going to get a ton of snow and then they just end show. We've got to do a difficult forecast because we are on the edge of this thing. And you can see winter storm watch for northern portions of our viewing area, central Wisconsin and north. This is so early to have a winter storm warning. We have a this WPC thing. It's it's for odds. It gives us the odds of that we'll see the snow, right? They have a 80% chance of 18 inches right now in Minneapolis. If I had a 5% chance of 18 inches, I'd be like, this is a big deal. 80? This is potentially historic. So I do want you to understand that maybe we aren't going to see that history, but you're going to be witnessing it for northern Wisconsin, especially Minneapolis. So let's talk about the track for us if you want to see some changes. So the, the low, if it takes a northerly path, which is still possible, that gives us more of an ice storm. If it takes a southerly path, that gives us and pulls down that snow. So that gives us more of a snowstorm. Where are we at today? Well, we have it going directly over us. And I talked about this earlier. That gives you the lowest impacts because it gives you a little snow. It gives you a little dry time because of the low passes. You it typically gives you a dry slot and then it gives you a little freezing rain, a little sleet. But it'll be worse if it goes over us. To me, there's major impacts in Chicago because of freezing rain. I like this map. This is intensity, not odds. So what we're going to see here Tuesday night into Wednesday morning is flurries in Madison. But if you're watching in the Dells, I do think you'll see some snow. Janesville, nothing Tuesday. Lull Wednesday morning. I'm thinking Wednesday morning is not too bad. And then it just becomes not imminent. And we're going to see very heavy precip Wednesday night. This is the moment that you're either going to get the snowstorm or the ice storm. And then it tapers. At this point, it looks like Thursday things will taper quickly in the morning because it, we're going to miss. We're going to get what we call dry slotted. It'll hit and hammer Minneapolis and even Black River Falls and lacrosse. We're on the edge of that Thursday morning. So precip types snow Tuesday, mainly from Madison North. It's just types, not amounts. Then it slides to the north. We get that dry slot there Wednesday morning. It's dry. If you're traveling from three to noon, I think you're OK Wednesday. But anything afternoon, this is what it's going to look like. We've got all snow and very intense snow from Baraboo North. Snow and sleet. This is the zone, Madison, Watertown, Lone Rock. You're going to get a little of everything. My major concern here is Monroe, Janesville. This is that freezing rain zone, Platteville. This is where we could see some problems, not just on the roads, but you're starting to talk about power lines and tree damage. So we want to watch that second line closely. And of course, any shift in this is going to mean very big differences in amounts of snow and ice. 31 on Tuesday, 32 on Wednesday and 31 Thursday, bouncing around the freezing mark. Cool down Friday and a pretty nice weekend. If, if we do get some snow, especially in the northern portion of the viewing area, great weekend to enjoy it.